जैसे लेट्स 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 स्टार्ट स्टार्ट ठीक है वी हैव डॉक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स गेन लॉस ठीक है ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन जस्ट सेकेंड लेट मी आर पीपल अच्छा सो so oxidation reduction uh, gain in electrons uh, loss of electrons uh, balancing redox equations everything okay we did that and uh, we started off with trying to figure out how to make a make a i mean acha theek hai kal kal we did this entire thing theek hai let me just give you a brief recap that yesterday we just said that how do you know whether something is going to lose electrons or how or something is going to gain electrons sometimes you know like sodium is very reactive so you know that it likes to lose electrons and it likes to lose electrons a lot but then there are other substances which copper 1 plus ion i don't know whether it wants to form copper 2 plus or whether it wants to form copper whether it wants to get oxidized whether it wants to get reduced i have no idea so there are lots of compounds on for for which we have no idea what they're going to do so in that case you need a call it quantitative value which can tell you what that substance likes to do and how much does it want to do that like if some like if sodium wants to lose electrons then exactly how much does it want to lose electrons like it does it want to lose electrons more than potassium or less than potassium you need a value for that okay so we did uh, electrodes and uh, we did three types of electrodes you make electrodes the electrodes give you potential values uh voltage potentials which will tell you what it likes to do for example if you have sodium so sodium ke case mein what you had was that sodium really likes to lose electrons we already know that so sodium will start forming sodium ions and it will start to produce a lot of electrons and the electrons will accumulate on the metallic rod there's a delocalized uh delocalized electrons and the sea of electrons wo jo metallic rod hai just a second as a so as a on the metallic rod you will have uh, more and more electrons on the metallic rod uh, because sodium would be lo losing a lot of electrons and uh, it will continue to lose electrons uh, up till a certain point there would be so many electrons over here and the negative charge would become so large that the huge negative charge that has built up on the rod the the, the huge number of c of electrons they will start attracting the sodium ions back again and that's when a reversible reaction sets up uh, but we know sodium likes to lose electrons so there's going to be a lot of negative charge that's going to build up before that point comes and you can measure the potential of that negative charge which would come out to be minus 2.71 volts that's given in the data booklet and uh, the negative value indicates uh, or the negative potential indicates that the substance uh, really likes to lose electrons okay that's the first thing we did and whenever you have a metal a metal which is supposed to be in equilibrium with aqua science you'll have a metallic electrode which would be made out of the same metal and the ions would be part of the solution okay so if i have if i'm trying to investigate copper in equilibrium with its copper ions okay i'm going to do the same i'm going to draw the same type of electrode uh so if i if i do this reaction come here would data booklet just a second as so if i look at the data booklet So remember, drawings are important. Drawings are very important. Each single question they ask. Uh, what's the? Abhi, yes, that's it's a simplified version. You can't immerse any with uh, uh, with aqua solution. Actually. something similar is done but it's not directly na it's uh, it's a uh, i mean there's certain uh, i mean to make a sodium electrode i mean just for the sake of knowledge okay 
to make a sodium electrode because sodium is so reactive that you're going to have an explosion otherwise, right? So, so I'll just show you. So, how do you measure or construct a sodium? This thing. You can just Google this. Most of, the, most of the diagrams I'm making, they're very simplified versions, right? So, standard electrode potential. Uh, so, you obviously can't dip sodium directly uh, into water. So, the practical limitations are a lot. So, instead, there's an amalgam that's made. It's not, uh, I mean, this is, it must be given over here, just a second. Just for the sake of knowledge, it's. Uh, I said, so what they do is, they actually use very little sodium. So for example, over here, there's a, uh, from measurements in the cell, any, uh, uh, the so standard electrode potential, just a second. Yep, this one. There's an amalgam of NA which only has actually 0 0.0651% 0 of NA. So you're not actually dipping a, an electrode that's full of sodium because that will lead to an explosion. So, so the cell actually, the electrode actually has very little sodium. You then extrapolate it. You measure the potential of that tiny bit of sodium and then you try to figure out what, what would have happened if you had a huge piece of sodium. So, so remember all these diagrams, TK, you just have to know how to draw these diagrams, uh, not the actual practical details, TK, they are not needed. TK, every, uh, every electrode, uh, just make the basic diagram, that's it. I said copper wala, this one. So I just wanted to show you that uh, drawing is important, TK, label drawings. So here you can see this one over here, copper two plus, which is an equilibrium with copper. And the potential is given as a, it's given as 0 0.34 volts. So I, I was saying that if you have a metal and if that metal is supposed to be in equilibrium with its copper ions or aqueous ions, uh, then you're going to make this type of electrode, which uh, so which we just did. Okay, you'll take the piece of copper. The electrode would be made out of copper. And the solution over here will have copper ions. And since it's going to be, it's going to be a standard electrode, uh, it will have exactly one mole per dm cube of copper two plus ions. Okay, so make sure you use standard conditions. So the copper two plus ions will be one mole per one mole per dmq. Now, whatever happens, uh, whether it likes to lose electrons, if it likes to lose electrons, there's going to be a lot of electrons that's going to build up over here. And the potential on this electrode would be negative. Uh, if copper ions want to gain electrons, uh, the electrode would become electron deficient and it will have a positive charge. So whatever happens, uh, the potential will appear on the voltmeter that's connected to it. And you can go and measure that. As so you can go and just go home and measure that potential, that's it. Uh, so that's how you're going to do that. So that's the first type of electrode, uh, which is a metal in equilibrium with its aqueous ions. And then we did this other one, which is what if you have a gas in equilibrium with uh, with aqueous ions? You need a platinum electrode. As it's going to be, you always mention when you're drawing the diagram in the paper, we'll do past paper questions. Uh, the Cl2 has to be at one atmosphere pressure. Standard conditions. So it's got to be at, it's got to be at one atm pressure and the concentration of the CL lines in solution. That's just so the concentration of CL lines in solution that's going to be
it's going to be one more per DM cube. Up here, you've got, uh, you've got aqua signs only, right? So in aqua signs, uh, both ions will be added to the solution. The concentration of all the ions will be one mole per DMQ if you want to measure the standard electrode. So Fe3 plus aqueous is going to have the same concentration as, uh, it's going to have the same concentration as Fe2 plus aqueous. And it's going to be one mole per dm cube as well. And you'll put a platinum electrode. So make sure you, you draw the drawings correctly. Make sure you label everything. Uh, the ions will be one mole per dm cube. Uh, aqueous ions. So Yampena, you'll have all sorts of uh, electrodes in the data booklet and they'll, they'll fit either one of the descriptions, right? So for example, uh, this one over here. Fe three plus ions in equilibrium with uh, Fe. That's a metal electrode, Fe electrode, and the solution will have Fe three plus ions. If you have this one, fluorine in equilibrium with F minus one, the F minus one will be part of the solution. The F two will be a gas that will be present in a gas jar, and there's going to be a platinum electrode, so it's a gas aqueous ion electrode. Uh, this one over here, you've got a copper metal, so the copper metal will be the electrode. And ammonia and this iron over here, they would be part of the solution and they will be one mole per dm cube. If you look at this electrode, copper two plus in equilibrium with copper plus one, both ions will be added to the solution, one mole per dm cube. You will insert a platinum electrode and the potential on the platinum electrode will appear to be 0.15 volts, TK. Okay? So just remember this that, uh, so just remember that, uh, okay, I'll, I'll write these, uh, as you can pick any equations and they'll fit one of them. Okay, so you'll be asked to draw these electrodes. Is this clear, okay, electrodes keep drawing? Is that clear, this part? I said, next thing is uh, the important part or the key part. Okay, this is the summary of your entire chapter. Because remember, the whole chapter is about who gains electrons, who loses electrons, right? So, now one thing is is missing so far. Uh, as a one, let me write the summary first. Higher potential. If something has a higher potential, high E naught, okay, E is the E naught is how the potentials are going to be measured. E, uh, if there is no not, that means it's not under standard conditions, that's it. So high E not indicates that uh, the substance likes to gain electrons. So it wants to gain electrons. And lower E not, which is the negative potential, the substance likes to lose electrons. So you've got high E naughts and you've got you've got low E naughts. I mean, this is the main crux. TK, just keep this, fit this in your mind. Okay, if the potential is higher E naught, that means it wants to gain electrons. If it's a lower E naught, that means it likes to lose electrons. TK, why was sodium so negative? Why was it so low? Because sodium really wanted to lose electrons, and there was a lot of electrons, which is why the potential over here became very negatively charged. So lower E naught indicates that it really likes to lose electrons. And uh, vice versa, high E naught, Cl2, jotha, wo kya kar tha? it was gaining all the electrons from the platinum electrode because Cl2 really likes to do, gain electrons. So the platinum electrode became more and more positively charged. So a higher potential indicates that it wants to gain electrons. So this over here is the entire summary of the chapter. TK, just before moving on, keep this in your mind. High E naught gains electrons, low E naught loses electrons. TK, just make sure you memorize this, TK. You clear it? Shyan, Hasib, is this clear? Alicia, is this clear? And 
अच्छा वन अदर थिंग इज दैट पोटेंशियल रिमेम्बर इज अ रिलेटिव टर्म मेजरमेंट्स ठीक है मेजरमेंट इज अ रिलेटिव टर्म एक्चुअली इट्स एवरीथिंग इज रिलेटिव टू समथिंग वेन एवर यू ट्राई टू मेजर समथिंग इट इज मेजर्ड अगेंस्ट समथिंग ठीक है मतलब हवा में कोई चीज नहीं होती लाइक इफ आई इफ आई से दैट समथिंग वेज टेन के जी दैट नंबर टेन के जी इज अ रिलेटिव टर्म इट्स रिलेटिव टू अ के जी राइट वॉट इज अ के जी देर इज नो डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ के जी इट्स जस्ट समबडी पिक्ट स्टोन एंड सेट दैट इट्स अ के जी राइट सो द के जी इट सेल्फ इज जस्ट अ रेफरेंस पॉइंट ठीक है इट्स अ रेफरेंस पॉइंट सम कंट्रीज यूज टोन सम कंट्रीज यूज पाउंड एंशियंट पीपल हैड डिफरेंट रिलेटिव वेट्स ठीक है सो द पॉइंट इज दैट मेजरमेंट इज ऑलवेज रिलेटिव इफ यू से समथिंग इज टेन किलोमीटर्स दैट्स that's relative to a meter because somebody defined that this is a meter right and then you started measuring everything against that meter some other people would measure it against yards against feet okay so uh so remember measurements is relative to something uh height is relative to something like if i say a building is 1000 meters tall right so the question is or if i say that that a certain mountain has a, has a height of 8500 meters right the next question is relative to what like 8500 meters from the sea or 8500 meters from the base of the mountain or 8500 meters uh, from some other place like so you, you need a reference point right for measurements now similarly over here your voltmeter is not going to function on its own if it says that the voltage over here is 0.77 volts that means the voltage is measured with respect to something and that something is known as your reference point you need a reference for that the reference point itself is meaningless because remember if i if i measure the measure the height of a mountain in feet or whether i measure uh, the height of a mountain meters or kilometers it doesn't make a difference the height is still the same right the tallest building will still be the tallest building the, sm the smallest uh, building will still be the smallest building so the reference point is kind of irrelevant you can pick any reference point and you can choose that right so when you measure voltage the voltage has to be measured against something like if it's positive 0.77 positive compared to what if sodium i said was uh, was negative 2.71 volts like negative compared to what like this you need a reference point right so what is a reference point when i say that my electrodes are positive or my electrodes are negative but compared to what that's the question okay so what is this thing what is this reference point what am i co comparing the voltages with okay so uh, that something is basically an electrode every voltage is measured against a certain electrode uh the reference point always has to be the same ke okay, agar main weight jo hai na if i'm measuring the weight in kgs i should always measure my weight in kgs right like all the weights have to be measured in kgs because only then will i be able to compare them right so the reference point has to be constant uh doesn't matter what the reference point is but it has to be a constant reference point in this case it's an electrode okay if you look at the data booklet you'll uh you notice that hydrogen over here this one has a voltage of zero right so that's basically a reference point that's uh, this is the electrode that is used as a reference reference ki khud ki jo value hoti hai that's zero like if you're measuring the height of buildings from sea level sea level is zero meters then because everything else will be taller than the sea level or lower than the sea level so so the reference point itself is going to have zero voltage theek hai kyunki is that clear theek hai the basic idea ke every voltage is all these potentials are measured against a particular electrode and all these electrodes are either going to be more positive than that or more negative compared to that theek hai so 
नहीं वही स्पेसिफिक रीजन के रेफरेंस को मुझे बताओ कि इफ आई एम चूजिंग if i if i choose sea level as the as a reference point for measuring the heights of everything the mountains and the buildings right so what is the height of the sea level it's going to be zero right see is that clear kyunki sea level ko aap phir kisse measure karoge sea level you because you you're using sea level as the reference right so how tall is or how high is the sea level compared to the sea level but it, it has the same height there's no difference it's zero zero difference right so if i choose hydrogen as the reference point so i'm going to measure the voltage of hydrogen with respect to hydrogen so the voltage difference would be zero right there would be no difference is it clear that's so we're going to uh, we're going to talk about uh, or draw the reference electrode which is known as the standard hydrogen electrode so that's why if you remember the reactivity series in igcs co levels as well no reason i mean choosing hydrogen there is absolutely no reason you could have chosen someone else some other electrode as well the only point is if you choose a choose a reference then you have to keep that reference if you if you are measuring the heights in meters then everything has to be measured in meters wo beech mein ek banda aake na if he starts measuring in feet then it won't make sense like uh, one building is 1000 meters the other one is 2000 feet that will just create confusion so there is absolutely no reason so the same way like you measure all the mass of atoms uh, with respect to carbon right there's no reason i mean there, there are obviously some reasons for that but uh, technical reasons maybe okay, maybe it's very easy to set up the hydrogen electrode that's why they or the voltage of the hydrogen electrode is very stable so that's why they chose that i mean there could be some technical or practical reasons for that as a so standard hydrogen electrode uh So I'm going. I'm going to draw. You need to take me through. Okay, all electrode potentials are measured with respect to standard hydrogen electrode. ठीक है रिमेम्बर टू राइट द फुल नेम इट्स आई मीन दिस इज नॉट द एब्रीविएशन नहीं इन द सेम वे एज द हाइट ऑफ द सी लेवल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सी लेवल इज आई मीन इट इज आई से रिमेम्बर हां दैट्स अनदर थिंग दैट्स अनदर थिंग रिमेम्बर पोटेंशियल इज अ इज अ रिलेटिव टर्म लाइक इफ आई से हाउ टॉल or what is my height with respect to my height i mean there is no difference but like how tall am i from myself i mean i'm i'm 0 meter tall from my from myself right i mean it's it's a reference point like how tall am i from some other person i might be taller than him i might be shorter than him right so the point is that that potential is uh itself a meaningless value ठीक है इट्सेल्फ द पोटेंशियल मींस नथिंग अनलेस यू कंपेयर इट विद समथिंग ठीक है ये एक एग्जांपल कर लेते हैं इफ इन फिजिक्स लाइक यू हैव लेट्स से यू हैव अ रेजिस्टर एंड देयर इज 1000 वोल्ट्स ओवर हियर एंड यू गॉट जीरो वोल्ट्स ऑन दिस साइड राइट सो व्हाट इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस दिस रेजिस्टर दैट्स अ दैट्स अ 1000 वोल्ट्स राइट नाउ व्हाट इफ आई टेक अनदर रेजिस्टर and there is minus 500 volts potential on this side and there is plus 500 volts potential on this side right so what is the potential difference across this resistor it's exactly the same it's 1000 volts so the point is potential is a relative term theek hai i mean almost all measurements are relative relative to something so uh 
when I say that sea level has a height of zero meters, that I mean sea level has a height maybe compared to something else. Uh, but if you're comparing sea level with sea level, then it's it's obviously if the reference point is the sea level, then it's it's obviously zero meters. Okay. Yeah? So hydrogen is zero volts. But coming back to this, just to clear the confusion, hydrogen is zero volts, right? But if I if I compare it with this other one, the one at the bottom, right? It's minus 0.8 C volts. So hydrogen has a higher potential compared to this one. Alicia, do you get the point? Actually, I use the word higher and lower, right? It's not because this zero is meaningless. It's, it doesn't it doesn't signify anything. Okay, but if you compare it with uh, minus 0.8 C, then hydrogen electrode obviously has a higher potential compared to minus 0.8 C. Is this clear? So may I, so, because remember, this is important. So if somebody tells you that something is 10 volts, this information is completely meaningless. Because 10 volts, if somebody tells you that, like I have a pen and there's a potential of 10 volts on this pen, right? This information is completely meaningless. I don't know, is that a higher potential or is that a lower potential? And compared to what, like, uh, what do I do? I mean, that information is completely meaningless unless I compare it with something. If somebody tells me that this has a 10 volt potential uh, or it's it has a potential difference of 10 volts compared to uh, something else, then that has some information in it. So your value, and this value itself is meaningless unless you compare it with something. So coming back to this, uh, so remember, the value of the potential is meaningless. As long as you uh, make a comparison, as long as you compare it with something, that's why they use the word potential difference. The difference is important. So coming back to this hydrogen electrode, so I'm going to try and measure and complete the drawing now. So I had this electrode, I'm going to copy this electrode and I'm going to make a full electrode now. So the so the previous diagrams that I did were not were not complete. You give us a reference for a partner that was missing actually. So I'm going to complete this now. So I'm going to I'm going to add the standard hydrogen electrode now to this. And the standard hydrogen electrode would be it's going to have a platinum electrode. There's going to be H plus one ions in the solution. And the concentration will be one mole per dm cube. And they would be in equilibrium with hydrogen gas. So the hydrogen gas will be in a gas jar at a pressure of one atmosphere. So that's at one ATM and uh, what else we've I said and we'll have uh, we'll have a platinum electrode and so we'll have a platinum electrode now my diagram is complete so that's your that's your standard hydrogen electrode on this side So all electrodes, I said all electrodes are going to be measured. Any random electrode, its voltage would be measured with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode. Think every time you're going to draw this as well. Is this clear? You clear? So in the data booklet, this is zero volts and this is 0.77 volts. Basically, 
uh, you get a positive voltage on the uh, when you measure the potential difference uh, of the iron ion electrode compared to this. As a last is this one thing that's missing, and uh, that one thing is a salt bridge. So you can remember. Remember, you're going to get a five mark question, four five mark question on just drawing this. Just just the drawing, that's a four five mark question. So you're going to have make sure to add the salt bridge every time. So that's how your your electrode would look like. A hydrogen electrode, and that's the electrode that you're trying to measure the potential of. And every time you put an every time all of these, the reference point is a standard hydrogen electrode. Every potential is going to be measured with respect to. So over here, there's going to be a standard hydrogen electrode. As a salt bridge, salt bridge. Uh, I said let's do salt bridge in the next class. Okay, this one now opens. The whole thing up because now it's an electrochemical cell. Okay, so you have one electrode and you have another electrode, but we'll have to discuss that in a lot more detail in the next class. Then we got some time. Let me just stick to the drawing part. Okay, and we'll we'll discuss salt bridge. Why is it necessary? And we'll also discuss what's going to happen if you connect an electrode with another electrode because now there's going to be a flow of current. This is known as an electrochemical cell. It's no longer an electrode. Electrode This was an electrode, but when you connect two electrodes together, now a current will flow. Current always flows from, uh, or the electrons flow towards the lower potential. So from the positive potential, they're gonna start flowing towards the negative potential. But that's a, I mean, we'll discuss this in a lot more detail in the next class. So stick to this. This is the complete diagram that you're going to draw for any electrode. Remember, there are three types of electrodes. All the equations in the data booklet can be, can either fit one of the electrodes. It's either metal with an aqua sign, or it's a gas in equilibrium with aqua signs, or you'll have uh, electrodes that only have aqua signs in them. Okay, so there'll be three main types of electrodes. And every time you measure the potential, the potential has to be measured with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode. Yeah. So every time it's going to be measured with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode. Okay, is the diagram clear? Remember, diagram is important. That's why we're spending time on this. To get this thing. Rest we'll talk tomorrow. Let us have a Yes. Uh, will a hydrogen electrode always be part of this, this, this whole thing? Be part of? Part of this electrolytic cell. Hey. Because remember, uh, one thing is that if you're measuring the potential, right? Then the potential has to be measured with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode. Is that clear? Okay. Said, but remember, you can in reality you can connect any two electrodes together. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, if you're measuring it, if you're measuring the potential, the standard potential, then the potential of the electrode has to be measured with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode. Okay. okay. You can connect any two electrodes together. There's no, uh, but we'll talk uh, talk in detail about that. Okay. Okay, make sure you get the diagram right. Then here, let's uh, talk tomorrow. Okay, we'll uh, we'll discuss what's going to happen now when you have two electrodes and they're connected together. We'll discuss what, what does the salt bridge do and everything else. Okay. So, like, ye aad rakhna ye wali cheez. High E naught gains electrons. Low E naught likes to lose electrons. Remember that. Keep this in mind. This is the whole topic. Theek hai. So, okay, everyone.
ನೀ ಏನ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟೆಡ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೊಯ್ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ವೋಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ದಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೌ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಶೇರ್ ದ ಲಿಂಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಐ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ is go or open this on on your laptop it it won't open uh how you guys okay it won't open on your phone most likely it won't open on your phone so let's go okay everyone now uh, first